Removal. Step 1. Prepping for air strut removal. Set the steering to straight ahead. Raise the vehicle. Remove the front wheel. Removal. Step 2. Air strut removal. Remove the inner wheel well lining. Remove the airline fitting from the air valve. Remove the airline fitting from the airline and discard. Remove the ball joint nut from the spindle assembly and separate. Remove the sway bar end link to the shock mounting bolt. Remove the lower shock mounting nut and bolt. Remove the ABS sensor. Remove and disconnect the shock damper sensor. Disconnect the ride height sensor connector. Remove the three mounting bolts that secure the air struts upper mount. To expose the third bolt, loosen the windshield wiper cowl. Remove the strut assembly from the vehicle. Removal. Step 3. Air spring disassembly. Warning. The air spring may be under pressure. Slowly remove the air valve to deflate. Remove and discard the four bolts securing the air spring to the air spring upper mount. Remove the top shock rod nut from the air spring. Remove and discard the old rubber rod end mount and the o-ring. Remove the bottom of the dust boot from the shock. Remove the air spring assembly from the shock. Remove the lower shock o-ring and discard. Install. Step 1. Air spring assembly. Tighten all nuts and bolts to manufacturer's specifications during the installation process. Warning! Do not remove the air fitting from the air spring. Doing so may cause damage and or void the warranty. Remove the white shipping pin from the new air fitting and insert the airline until fully seated. Install the new shock o-ring. Apply lubrication to the o-ring. Use caution when installing the O-ring. If damaged, the air spring will not hold pressure. Install the new air spring onto the shock. Install the new O-ring and rubber rod end mount and nut onto the shock. Tighten to manufacturer's specifications. Align the air inlet with the shock forks. Install the four new bolts securing the air spring to the upper mount.
Install. Step 2. Air strut installation. Install the lower shock mounting nut and bolt. Install the ball joint nut to the spindle assembly. Reconnect the ABS sensor. Reconnect the shock damper sensor. Reconnect the ride height sensor connector. It may be necessary to use a jack to install the sway bar end link to the shock mounting bolt. Install the three mounting bolts that secure the shock. Install the air line into the air fitting at the air valve. Reinstall the inner wheel well lining. Install. Step 3. Finishing the installation. Install the front wheel. Lower the vehicle to standard vehicle height from the lifting platform. Reconnect the battery.